Hey guys, it's Kost. In this video you will learn how to blend two faces in Photoshop CC. Do not be afraid. Even if you are new to Photoshop, after watching this video you will get exactly the same result as mine. And remember, if this feature seems useful to you, don't forget to like this video, ok? Let's start. So yeah, let's do this. So we have Conor McGregor and we have Dua Lipa. I am going to put Dua Lipa's face on Conor McGregor. First of all, I will select the Lasso tool and stroke her face like this. Probably you are thinking how I'm going to put this face. I'll show you. We get just her eyebrows, eyes, nose and mouse. Now I copy this image, just hit Ctrl C to copy and paste on the image with Conor McGregor. Now I'm going to select the background and then make a copy of the layer, then make the first layer invisible, so we don't screw up anything on the background. Then we're just going to go back to Dua Lipa's face. So now you're just going to hit Ctrl T and you're just going to try and shape it. And then you're going to turn down the opacity so you can sort of match their faces. Now this is going to be sort of difficult to this. If anything, it doesn't need to be perfect, but we try to do this. So that looks fine, so I'm just going to hit OK or Enter. So you're going to do is you are going to select the pixels of Dua and then hit select and then inverse and then you're just going to hit modify from select and then expand then hit 5 pixels and then hit ok now let's try 4 pixels and hit ok again it's good this is going to shrink sort of the selected so in the future this will allow Photoshop to make quality transition between Connor and Dua. Ok, now hit inverse again and make Dua's faces invisible. Hit on McGregor layer and just hit the delete K. On this place we put Dua's face, then make Dua's face visible. And now I'm going to select the pixels of Dua again. Now we select both layers with Dua and Connor. Then we're going to hit edit and then hit after blend layers and this is a special moment. Now we are going to hit panorama and choose seamless tones and colors and then hit ok. As you can see we've got a pretty nice result. It looks a little fake but you can always do some more blending and stuff like that as you can't. Let's try to do the same with other persons, for example with Cardi B and DiCaprio. Why not? As I said, uh, the first thing we do is select DiCaprio's face, like that. Select his eyes, mouth, nose and a small part of his chin. Copy, press the Ctrl or Command C and paste it. Onto Cardi B, pressing Ctrl or Command V. Ok, now we're going to lower the transparency of DiCaprio's face and press Ctrl T for scaling his face. We have to make sure that DiCaprio eyes are in front of KRDBs and this also applies to his nose and mouth. It will be a little easier than in the previous picture because there is not so much Beard as in McGregor's.
When we have finished with this, we should make a copy of our background and make the main background transparent and leave it on just in case. So now you are going to select the pixels of the Caprio again, then hit select and then inverse, then you are just going to hit modify from select and then expand, then hit 7 pixels and then hit OK. Now we are going to make DiCaprio's face invisible. Select card B and press the delete button. Make DiCaprio's face visible again. Select the pixels of his face and then we are going to hit edit and then hit after blend layers with previous settings and hit OK. OK, this time it's better, much better, face more real. Light falls evenly, skin color looks great too, overall good. Propose to fix the material and make another face replacement. And this time I take face of Robert Downey Jr. and put it on Chris Evans. This time I will replace the face but on which the glasses will be wearing and put it on the regular face without glasses. All the actions are not different from previous ones, so I just suggest you to enjoy the material with good music. You're welcome! One more excellent result! I think we got another worthy picture and you can share it with your friends and surprise them. I hope you enjoyed this video and now you know how to blend two different faces into one using Photoshop. Do not forget to like this video if it was useful and brought you positive emotions and also subscribe to the channel to learn about other Photoshop tricks in the future. Thank you for watching, see you later, bye!